pulling in here. One thing, one thing you guys want to do when you when you hook a nice nice trout, lay your rod down, try to keep them in the water. Yeah, don't let him jump. Yeah. Well, if you ever catch a nice one, you can show us. <laughs> <laughs> Look a little better fish up this way. All right, James, showing out. That's what I do, man. That's what he do best. Yes, and have girls. In, w in which way do you mean have them? <laughs> have my daughter. Nice, about 18 inch trout. Or that trout. Oh, sorry, boy. I'm telling y'all. Oh, oh good man. Job. Where's our video boat? All right, we doubled it. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is a triple, baby. This is what we're talking about, folks. I got a head shaker. There we go. Folks, that's what we're talking about. We got a triple on right here. Biggest one's coming in last. Here you go, James, if you would. That's three trout. Bang, bang, bang. Talking about right here. Look at here. Good fish. Big fish. Here, I'll get I'll get it for you, James. I think you're thinking oddly net still. Why are you gonna put the camera underwater? Top of the head. You done let him spit it out. Leave that alone, James. <laughs> Keep him tame. Release. What I like to do when I'm fishing in here with several people. No. Go around and around with him. <laughs> round and around. Pull him that way, pull him over here. It's good fish. I will. Long fish. February here, you, you normally you're, you're allowed five trout, 15 to uh, 20 inches, one of which may be over 20. Uh, in February, we have a closed season here, and open up again in March. You're still allowed to uh, go after red fish. Uh, you're allowed one fish per person there, 18 to 27 inches. So we got us a nice Dallas Creek trout.
That's Greg Collins right there, folks. He's our camera boat driver, and he's uh, catching more fish than the fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> a little on the small side for here, but nice little trout. All right, I think about time to change lures. But right now, I've been using the Bass Assassin Vineyard Eel, five-inch eel on a quarter-ounce jig head. And we've just been bouncing it along the sandy bottom. But I'm going to try and see if I can get this other plug to work. It's uh, Sabeel's lure, liquid field. And it does real good in the shallow water. But it's uh, got the rattles in there. And uh, trout and red, they do like it. So let's see if we can get something on this one. Well, we're fishing today in Dallas Creek, and it's a relatively shallow creek with holes in it that we're trying to target the trout. But uh, we're using basically shallow running lures. Uh, Rapala has a, a sub walker, and these are, and then Seville has this one, and they run around zero to two foot depth, and which are ideal out here in the creeks, up on the grass flats where you don't have a lot of depth, and that way they're not catching the grass and uh, they they work real good out here. That's when you need an oil. Red line and Seville. Yeah. Yeah, you notice that we went back to our vineyard deal because it does work pretty good out here. Certainly wasn't as big as he felt there for a while. That bit right at the boat, didn't it? Yeah. Just I was fixing to pull it in. This year, and we have tore the trout up both times. We'd like to give special thanks to everybody that made it happen. Our guide service and uh, Greg over here for driving the boat for us. James for getting us here. Uh, so we're just looking forward to the next time we're coming back. So until next time, y'all have a good one. That's a wrap!